Hey, good day folks, Boda Bob here. And I just wanted to give you an update on this winter's firewood usage. So, um, my 2022-2023 firewood pile is right here behind me. And I've it, today is the 1st of March, 2023. I've used one complete row, and my second row I have probably, third. I meant less than a sixth of a cord here in this pile. So I started out with 3.8 cords. So what I'm, I got one third of my wood left for the rest of this season. So I've burned approximately two thirds of my 3.8 cords when I started the year. 2.6 cords, so I got 1.8 cords left over. So last night I burned four of these buckets of wood. I probably won't burn much tomorrow because it's only supposed to get down to 43 tonight. So, and it's 56 degrees right now. Between four and six pieces of wood, sometimes only three if it's a great big piece of uh, wood that, you know, was naughty, gnarly, crotchy. Um, I only get uh, two smaller ones and one bigger one. So I need four of these tonight. Also what I do before I take them in the house, before I take them in the house, I like to uh, remove the bark. So I'm gonna, so I have my little Fiskar ax hatchet, grab my wood, take it. You can see this bark is already starting to separate. I like to knock off any bugs and then put it in my tote. Sometimes I can't get the bark to go off because it's, I gotta give it a little influence. You bang on it like that, it will start to let go. Now why do I do this? Well, I had an old timer tell me, take the bark off and you won't get as much creosote. In your chimney and so him and his wife they burn firewood to heat their home and uh, he seemed to know what he was talking about so I kind of adopted his philosophy there someone offers you free advice you gotta at least listen to it okay that's four pieces right there I take those throw them in this bucket the black bucket I find a, sometimes the critters like to live under the bark. This helps me keep the mess and the bugs out of the house. All right. Two buckets. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, me filling buckets of firewood. That's just how I do it. Firewood's looking good. I was a little concerned that I didn't have uh, four and a half cords of uh, wood this year. I didn't stack it high enough. And uh, so that's what happened there. Next year's wood supply, it's stacked higher. And uh, hopefully it'll be dry in time because I didn't get my wood splitting time but I'm gonna start splitting for this year what I'm gonna do I have a new uh, firewood rack on the other side over here I'm gonna take and start putting this firewood on that firewood rack and it's big enough to hold one cord and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start splitting I'm gonna have 
all of my firewood split by, I'm hoping by May 1st, I'll have all of 2024, this will be 2024, 2025 firewood. I hope to have it all split by 1 May. So that's my goal, 1 May, have all of 2025's, I'm sorry, 2024's firewood split. So that'll be that. You know, this uh, where you have to split the year, <laughs> it can get a little confusing, especially when the camera's rolling. So, hey, I want to thank you all for stopping by. I want to thank everybody who has watched my videos and left a comment down below. Even if you haven't left a comment, I appreciate you watching. If you could, do me a favor, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Smash that like button and share this video with a friend. And drop a note down below. Tell me how your uh, firewood supply is going this year. Um, are you going to have enough? Uh, you ready for next, getting ready for next year? Tell me what's going on with your wood yard and your firewood in a comment down below. Until next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop. Record.